News 25 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-990 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight, Nye County gives an update on an attempted home invasion, and our local museum celebrates two birthdays. News 25 starts now. This is News 25 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 25. Local coverage you can count on. More information is released regarding an arrest. It's Friday, November 1st. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Well, the name has been released as well as some additional details regarding a suspect who allegedly tried to break into a residence in the middle of the night. Patrol members be advised. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has released a declaration of arrest concerning the home invasion that was reported on last week. Arrested was Jonathan Williams for home invasion, obstructing a search and rescue organization under the influence of a controlled substance, possessing a stolen property, using the identity of another person, burglary, and battery on a protected person. According to the report on October 26th at approximately 1.30 in the morning, deputies were dispatched to a report of a home invasion in progress located on Buckhorn here in Pahrump. Dispatch stated that someone was allegedly breaking into the home and shots were fired by the homeowner and he was unaware if he had actually made contact with the suspect. Dispatch also told police who were en route that the suspect was fleeing the scene and currently being chased by the homeowner on foot. Deputies arrived on scene and spoke to the male and female couple who stated that they were sleeping when they heard someone attempting to open their glass front door. They got out of bed and began looking for their firearm when they heard a large banging sound and glass breaking. The female said that she thought her husband was shot at that time. The suspect then began to run southbound towards Petrick Park. The male said that he fired approximately five shots from his nine millimeter handgun Four shots were fired through the glass front door inside the residence and one shot was fired in the doorway of the residence. Deputies were then dispatched to a report of a male who was running around the area of Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Station 1 on Highway 160. They were advised that the individual had broken to several fire trucks and attempted to steal several items. Upon arrival, they noticed an individual who was later identified as Jonathan Williams who was being chased by two men who were Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue rescue employees, Captain Steve Moody and firefighter Matt Brown. They said that they witnessed Brown being struck in the face with a closed fist. Both of the firefighters then took control of the individual. Williams told police that he was shot at five times and admitted to attempting to enter the residence for warmth, according to police. He said that he broke the glass on the front door with a rock and his body and that he thought he was shot in his private area. Neither the suspect or the victim received any gunshot wounds. Police say that he gave them the name of Jeff, and the deputy advised that he already knew his identity. Williams said that he was knocked out by one of the firefighters. Officers then say that Williams' pupils were dilated and his speech was rapid and bizarre and that he could not stand still. He admitted to using methamphetamine about two days prior. Firefighters say that Williams entered two ambulances and two squad trucks and broke and tried to steal several items, including including saline and oral glucose. Captain Moody from Pahrump Valley Farm Rescue stated that Williams attempted to steal a medical bag as well. Deputies then arrested Jonathan Williams to transport him to the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. They say at that time that Williams began to perform a lewd act onto the back seat of the car. Detectives then arrived at the scene why Williams was being processed into the detention center and found evidence to support the claims of the victims, including 9mm shell casings, a power drill next to the front door, broken glass, and shoe prints of the exact shoes that were worn by Jonathan Williams. Well, teachers in the Windy City are back in school. Angela has that story. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. 
Tapping our news, it's back to school for Chicago teachers and students. After 11 days of striking, including through Chicago's financial district, the union and the mayor have reached a tentative agreement. The deal is said to include a 16% pay raise over five years and smaller classrooms. In the Motor City, Ford has a deal with the UAW. Ford will be giving full-time workers $9,000 in a ratification bonus. However, an engine plant in Romeo, Michigan will be closing. Union workers have the option to move to a different plant. Fiat Chrysler and PSA Group, which owns Peugeot, are tying the knot. That $48 billion merger creates the world's third largest automaker. Fiat stock rallied on Thursday. To find out where you can see us every day, go to businessfirstam.com. More with News 25 after this break. This segment of the news is brought to you by Pahrump Cardiology, located at 1397 South Loop Road in Pahrump, Nevada. Call 775-210-8333 for an appointment. Dr. Talee Eric, proudly serving Perum since 2005. Welcome back. Well, Nevada HealthLink, the online marketplace operated by the Silver State Health Insurance Exchange, begins its 45-day open enrollment period for the 2020 health insurance plans. Now through December 15th, Nevada residents can shop for and enroll in qualified health plans and dental plans using NevadaHealthLink.com, the fully operational state-based exchange that has transitioned away from the federal health insurance marketplace, healthcare.gov. Nevada HealthLink has 27 qualified health plans offered through three insurance carriers. Open enrollment for the plan year of 2020 once again starts today, November 1st, and runs through December 15th of this year. Well, as you know, yesterday was Halloween. Here's a run through of our town activities. There was approximately 10 separate trunk or treating events last night here in Pahrump to celebrate Halloween. Also, the sixth annual Halloween Spooktacular was held at the Bob Rood Community Center. Trick or treaters also went door to door or to the packed Lakeside RV Park. Phantom Fireworks in Wheeler Plaza held their annual event, which brought in thousands of ghosts and goblins and was participated by most of the businesses in that center. Game Corner also coordinated with business in their shopping center off Highway 372 to hold their event advertised as the only trunk or treat where you can play video games in the arcade after. The Nye County Search and Rescue were patrolling the winery area like they have done in recent years because of the large crowds that go trick-or-treating door-to-door in that neighborhood. The Moose Lodge set up shop in their parking lot to hand out candy. Participants dressed up in their finest costumes and decorated their vehicles. Quality signs and designs got together with our RNG Farms and held an event in their center off Highway 160 with balloons over Pahrump holding a balloon glow by shooting flames into the air. And chiropractor Dr. Michael Taylor made fresh kettle corn. A disc jockey also laid down some beets and of course there was lots of candy from the over 31 cars that participated in the trunk or treat event. KPVM TV also participated and had a great time handing out candy to the event that was booked for all ages. We hope you had a wonderful Halloween from all of us here at KPVM-TV and Ace Country Radio. Well, the Prompt Valley Museum on Basin Avenue is holding a special event to celebrate Nevada and Nye County's birthday this Saturday. We're going to do one of the first, I think, celebrations for Nevada Day and Nye County. They're both 155 years old this this year okay. and we don't normally do it here in Pahrump so the museum has decided to do a celebration and we have gold seekers coming with their equipment and their panning we have no pressure music they'll be here playing we have the uh, garden club yeah they're going to be doing seeds and giving out any information you need and uh, the Pahrump artists and artisans are going to be coming and doing different things whatever their uh, um, material is they're going to be here doing painting or sketching or anything that has to do with art wow. and having people come and uh, enjoy that this is going to be a big celebration isn't it it is for us it is and we also have pete's meats uh -huh. everybody loves pete's meats so we have mm -hmm. pete's meats and we have um, cake cookies and creations are doing a special 
cookie for us. We're at 401 East Basin. Um, if you want more information, you can call 775-751-1970. Um, the quilt was made by Susan Locke, and it was quilted by Victoria from the Quilted Dragon. And uh, we're selling raffle tickets. There's six tickets for $5 or one ticket for $1, and uh, hoping it'll find a good home. It's probably about the size for a twin bed. Definitely a, an overlap size quilt. I have two uh, buildings that are built from railroad ties. One of them is actually Perry Bowman's house mm -hmm. that the family lived in. There were seven of them living in that house. I have the little red schoolhouse that they brought here in the 40s and I also have the Perump store that came uh, that was built in 1905. So amazing buildings inside and a lot of wonderful things inside here. Amazing buildings outside. The um, water tower from the cotton gin. Yeah. And that, the cotton gin was up where the Pahrump Nugget is now. And we have the water tower from that. So I have the Yucca Mountain exhibit. Mm -hmm. I have pictures from the Nevada test site. Mm -hmm. We have a military display. I don't know if people realize we have over 9,000 retired military people. So we want to honor them. Uh, we have a train exhibit. The train ran from Las Vegas to Tonopah. Uh, the steam train and so we have that exhibit also a lot of stuff it is on Saturday November 2nd from um, 11 to 3 and we're going it's here at the museum and we are at 401 East Basin we are normally open Tuesday through Sunday 9 to 5 and a pinning ceremony to honor some of our local veterans is planned in the coming weeks so Nathan Adelson Hospice is a four-star provider for hospice services for the vets. We're one of the few contracted um, companies that provide hospice for vets. We are working on our five-star recognition, and part of it is we are honoring vets um, for uh, their service to our country. Mm -hmm. So we do a pinning ceremony where we provide a personalized certificate and a pin, and we're doing it here at Inspiration Senior Living on the 15th at 11 a.m. The public can come on by. The, the vets we are honoring with the certificate and pins are ones that actually live here at the community. Mm -hmm. We're also doing one at the Senior Center the Friday before Veterans Day, and um, that one is at 10 a.m. And for anyone, any of the seniors that use the, the senior community is welcome to attend, and we will also provide certificates and pins at that time. They can um, give us a call. Our, uh, my name, again, is Virginia Fortier, 775-751-6700. Uh, More news, including your Save-A-Pet, after this break. This segment of the news is brought to you by Mountain West Lawyers, Nye County's injury attorneys. Don't get bullied by insurance companies. Call Jason Ernest and bully them back at 775-727-9500. Welcome back. Well, today Darby introduces you to a dog available for adoption named Lady. Today's Save-A-Pet is proudly sponsored by Jason Ernest with Mountain West Lawyers. Call 775-727-9500. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society, and today we are joined with Lady. Lady is a pure gray, we think she's like a Weiberiner mix. She has a lot of energy. She is so sweet though. Immediately when we brought her out to the yard, she warmed up to us very quickly. She jumped on my lap. Honestly, such a sweet girl. She's about one years old. Come on down and spend some time with her in the yard at Desert Haven Animal Society. They're on Surrey Lane behind the Nye County Courthouse. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020. You can look them up on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society or go online to deserthavenas.org. Thanks so much, Darby. Well, KPVM TV had a blast attending this year's Beatty Days Festival. The Beatty Chamber of Commerce hosted the annual Beatty Days, which included live music, a parade, Old West shootouts, the International Chili Society Chili Cook-Off, a 5K run and 2K walk, a poker walk, bed races, a desert art show, model railroads, a car show, a biker poker run, and so much more. The event was held in Cottonwood Park. Dozens of cars, 
participated in the Still Cruisin' Classic Car Show. Of course, the big attraction, the Beatty Day Bed Races, was held on Saturday morning. There was lots of activities for family and, of course, entertainment on the stage all weekend long. For more information on Beatty Days, you can find them on their Facebook page or go to BeattyNevada.org. We'll see you next year in Beatty. All right, well, Taylor Swift is receiving a prestigious award. Maria has that story and more. The vacant Nevada State Prison in Carson City may become a museum. The prison was built in 1862. The history of the facility includes death row executions by way of hangings to firing squads and even the nation's first gas chamber. A nonprofit organization is fundraising so that they can open the prison to the public for tours. Singer Taylor Swift will be receiving the Artist of the Decade trophy at this year's American Music Awards. The only other artist who has ever received this prestigious award is Garth Brooks, who was awarded it in 2000. Swift has previously won the Artist of the Year trophy four times and has been nominated again in that category this year. The other categories Swift is nominated in include Favorite Music Video, Favorite Pop Rock Female Artist, Favorite Pop Rock Album for Lover, and Favorite Adult Contemporary Artist. The AMAs air on ABC Live on November 24th. The 2019 Miss Universe pageant will be held at Tyler Perry's new studio in Atlanta. Tyler Perry Studios will televise the worldwide competition from the former Confederate Army base. The show is once again hosted by Steve Harvey and will be broadcast live on Fox on December 8th. Singer Kelly Clarkson has announced that she will headline a new residency at the Zappos Theater in Las Vegas beginning this spring. The show is called Kelly Clarkson Invincible and will begin April 1st. Clarkson has been a regular coach on NBC series The Voice for the past four seasons. This season, she's coaching alongside Gwen Stefani, whose res residency at Planet Hollywood will come to an end in May. Local band Press Rewind will be playing a free show this Saturday night beginning at 8 p.m. at the Office Bar located on Loop Road here in Pahrump. For more information on Press Rewind, look them up on Facebook. I'm Maria Guerra, and this is your Entertainment This Week. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Well, here it's warming up a bit. Let's take a look outside and see what it looks like for our skies. Beautiful. We're going to find out more with our weather forecast right after this break. News 25 Weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee. The dollop of sour cream on your burrito. The melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious. Undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Hello and welcome back to News 25. I'm Michael Donahue with today's weather. In Las Vegas, we had a high of 70 degrees, a low of 47, 81 and 52 in Death Valley, 75 a low of 42 in Amargosa, Beatty at 73, 36, 61, 24 in Goldfield, 59, 25 in Tonopah, Carson City at 61, a low of 22, 56, 19 in Fallon, and up in Fernley, their high of 58 and their low is 24 degrees. Now today in Pahrump, we saw some nice sunny skies, our high today at 71 degrees, Winds coming out of the south-southwest at 4 miles per hour. Our humidity at 6% and our sunrise at 7.06 this morning. Now for tonight, continuing on with those clear skies, our low tonight is going to be 42 degrees. It's currently 66 outside. Winds coming out of the east-northeast at 5 miles per hour, 12% for our humidity and our sunset at 5.47 p.m. Now looking ahead to our seven day, not too many changes since we looked at it yesterday. Still expecting some nice sunny skies from tomorrow on through next Thursday. However, on Friday, we are expecting some clouds to roll in. Temperature wise for our highs, we're still expected to be in about those mid to high 70s, just between 75 and 79 degrees. We're gonna be hitting that 79 degree peak on Tuesday. For our overnights on Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna be hitting lows of 45 and 49 degrees. On Monday, we're gonna sneak up to 50. And then we're just going to see a lot of 51s from Tuesday through Friday. We're going to be seeing our low at a nice little steady 51 degrees for that little stretch. 
So now with that, we're going to throw it back to the desk with Deanna. Thanks so much, Michael. Well, that's going to wrap up this edition of News 25. I'm Deanna O'Donnell from all of us here at KPVM-TV and Ace Country Radio. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.